Item number eight. Item eight, resolution in defense of Second Amendment rights. Peggy Littleton, Commissioner of Board County Insurance. Thank you. I would move approval of the following resolution in defense of the Second Amendment rights. And it's so exciting that we get to do this today. Whereas the Second Amendment, Amendment of the United States Constitution provides that a well-regulated militia be necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And whereas the right to arms and self-defense is recognized in state constitutions, and whereas the natural and unalienable, or unalienable, as the constitutional scholars would say, unalienable right, to self-defense is well established in the writings of many philosophers and authors since ancient times of Greece and Rome. And whereas for centuries, tyrants have recognized that a disarmed population is readily dominated. And whereas the Second Amendment protects the rights of self-defense, defense of others, and defense of the nation, and assumes the rights to hunting and sport and shooting. And whereas it is estimated that more than 70 million people, representing more than half of the households in America, have chosen to lawfully exercise the right to bear arms and defend themselves and their families. And whereas many gun control laws implicitly assume the guilt of lawful and responsible firearm owners with little effect on the ability of criminals to obtain firearms and to use them unlawfully. And whereas the vast majority of all lawfully owned firearms in America are not used in crime. And whereas statistically, lawful gun owners are less likely to break the law than the average member of the public. And whereas in 2008, the United States Supreme Court, the District of Columbia versus Heller, ruled that the Second Amendment protects an individual's right rather than a collective, the right to keep and bear arms. And in 2010, in McDonald versus the City of Chicago, the Supreme Court further opined that the right of an individual to keep and bear arms protected by the Second Amendment is incorporated by the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment and applies to states. And whereas studies by the National Academies of Science and Centers for Disease Control have found no persuasive evidence that gun control laws actually reduce crime, and whereas today Americans are safer from violent crime than they have been at any time since the mid-1960s, now therefore be it resolved that the County of El Paso, State of Colorado, will uphold the Second Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, and we will act in conformity with our sworn duties as duly elected officials charged with the public trust, and will not in, or in conjunction with prior decisions by the United States Supreme Court, not enforce any statutes, edicts, presidential directives, or other regulations and proclamations which conflict and are expressly preempted by the U.S. Supreme Court's rulings. The Board of El Paso County Commissioners strongly urges the United States Senate to reject international treaties that would infringe upon the Second Amendment rights of American citizens, including the United Nations Arms Trade Treaty, the Inter-American Convention Against Illicit Manufacturing of and Trafficking in Firearms, or the UN Program of Action, and that neither the United States Congress nor the General Assembly of the State of Colorado should entertain consideration of any new legislation that would infringe upon the constitutionally protected rights under the Second Amendment through any means, including additional restrictions on lawful firearms and accessories, or on the possession, use, sale, or transfer of legitimately owned firearms. And be it further resolved that the El Paso County Board of County Commissioners calls upon the United States Congress and the Colorado General Assembly to recognize the multitudes of existing laws related to the manufacture, sale, and possession of firearms, and acknowledge that in order to combat gun violence, the county and the country must enforce existing laws and more effectively punish and deter those who commit these crimes. Done this 22nd day of January, 2013, at Colorado Springs, Colorado, the Board of County Commissioners, El Paso County, Colorado, 
Dennis Heisey Chair, Amy Lathan Vice Chair, Sally Clark, Daryl Glenn, and Peggy Littleton members, attested to by Wayne W. Williams, County Clerk and Recorder.